I first started covering England's women in the World Cup in 2007 when I joined the BBC. When you think back to those days where it was all a bit ad hoc, to last summer where we covered every single game of that tournament, it's night and day. From covering that first game at Old Trafford, all the hype that went into it, obviously a home Euros, everyone getting behind the Lionesses, but then just as the games were going on and the belief that this team could actually get to Wembley and lift that trophy, you could feel it. It actually gives me goosebumps now thinking about it. But to be inside that stadium and seeing them lifting that trophy, I remember crying like a baby live on TV, but um, no, it, it was special. So obviously, I'm, I'm going to be back in England all the way. Um, and I think for this tournament, um, we know what it feels like to win. Obviously, we've won the Euros. We know what that takes, what that looks like. So we're going in with a lot of experience. So yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm like a fan, really. I'm just excited to, to watch each game. When you talk about this team now and the talent that they have, the squad depth, new talents emerging, like Lauren James being selected within this team, it, it's exciting. But they have a manager that, in my opinion, is one of the best managers in the world. Granted, whether it be male or female, I think she's up there with the very best. They got lots of young players in there who are hungry and you know have their first um, experience, perhaps of a, a major tournament as well. I think it would be amazing to have a back-to-back -back, um, in tournaments to have an England player and another England player in this World Cup to, to win that Golden Boot. If it's Rach Daly, Alessia Russo, Bethany England, I don't mind. It could be any. It could be any of the front three. Obviously, it's in New Zealand, Australia, but everyone's still wanting to wake up early in the morning. Some of them are going to be very, very early in the morning. Some might say the middle of the night. Who wouldn't want to stay up all night to watch um, the World Cup? Obviously, having a newborn baby as well will help me stay up that bit <laughs> that bit longer. For England games, I'd say. Get all your snacks, everything ready prior, have an early night and then watch the games and have a lot of fun watching them. You can stay in your pyjamas and cheer on the team. Football fans, we get up no matter what time it is and we don't have a time when it comes to football. I don't want to hear any moaning about the hours, just get on with it and enjoy it and get behind the lionesses.